The Iron Lady, the Impregnable Queen, the Cool Beauty, the Empress, and the Lone Wolf. Some people say she is beautiful and lonely, but she is known by many names, and is my boss who I look up to. But at the moment, she is acting unbelievably. It's okay. Mommy can do it too. Don't make me mad. What? My name is Akira Ishikari, and I am 22 years old. It's been four months since I joined the Utsubaso Advertising Agency. Currently, I'm in trouble. I can't believe it. I told you not to so many times. Why did you agree to this project without asking me first? I'm s sorry! You do look good, but... Don't agree to everything so willy-nilly. I scolded the person who asked you to do this, but... The next time someone asks you to do something, you tell me first, okay? Yes! Phew. Hey there, are you okay? Bezo-senpai is so inflexible, huh? She's pretty, but so unfriendly. I guess that's why everyone calls her the beautiful lone wolf. Really? But I like getting scolded by Izo-senpai. What? what? She's not unfair, and she tells me how to better myself, and she takes the time to scold me because she expects a lot of me. Ishikari, are you, uh... Masochist? No, I'm not! That Saturday, I was at the supermarket. Hmm, what should I make for dinner tonight? I might as well try making something I haven't before. Hmm... Huh? Is that Izo-senpai? I can't believe I ran into her here. Okay, I've decided. Let's make curry using bananas. What? What did she say? Did she say curry with bananas? I mean, there are some curries with fruit, but a curry with bananas? Mommy, I want to eat a normal curry. Huh? Mommy? Wait, did that little boy call Senpai Mommy? Ezel Senpai is married? I was panicking from all this new information, but the biggest surprise came next. Huh? Mommy can make a yummy curry too. What? Senpai said yummy? But I think a banana curry will taste bad. Come on, a book I saw a long time ago had a curry with a ton of fruits on it. Was it a recipe book? No, it was a picture book. A picture book? Mommy, I don't want curry. Can we get a bento box? Oh no, the kid has such a blank look on his face. It's fine, I can do it. Oops, she saw me! <laughs> Ishikari, what are you doing here? I was buying stuff for dinner, and, uh, is that how you always talk? What are you talking about? You can't pretend otherwise now. From there, we went to the food court to talk. My name is Daimeyer Ezo. Thank you for working with my mommy. Oh, oh my goodness. You did such a good job introducing yourself. She's talking in a baby talk? As you can see, this is my son, Daimaru. Yes, I didn't know you were married. I was, but I'm divorced now. Huh? I guess I'll start from the beginning. According to her, she got married while in college to a man named Kuzuo Kuzuyama and gave birth to Daimaru. But he was an awful person who didn't work or do housework that he said he would do instead of senpai who was bad at it. In the end, he took out some loans and then disappeared. Now senpai is living in an apartment close to her parents, Daimaru's grandparents who help her out. Being with Kazuo was Daimaru's and I's biggest mistake in life, so I never talk about him. I see, and the reason you always went home at 5 p.m. was to take care of Daimaru. You should have told me I could have helped. I guess so, but I just never found the right time to tell you. Why? I am Lone Wolf, after all, right? Huh? Well, I mean, I've heard that nickname before, but... Yeah, so... People are going to think differently of me if they know I have a kid. That's why you don't want anyone to know? Yes, that's why. Everyone thinks I'm a cool, level-headed woman who's good at her job. I'm sorry, Mommy wants everyone to think she's cool. Whatever, just make sure you don't tell anyone what you saw here today. Uh, understood. 
Okay, then let's go home, Daimaru, you cutie. Mommy is gonna make you a delicious curry, okay? That's okay, I want a bento box. But I want to make curry. Uh, um... Yes? If it's curry that you want, I can help you. Okay, we'll take the carrot peels and fry that. What? Senpai, how spicy do you like your curry? Oh, um... I like it pretty spicy, but Dai likes his sweet. So I thought I would put bananas in it. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll make Daimaru's curry in a different pot. It's so good! What is in this? Did you do something special? It's bananas, right? No, I just followed a recipe. Mommy always tries to change the recipe. Oh. The main reason that makes food taste bad. Uh, anyways, <laughs> thank you. I'm sorry for the trouble. No trouble. Besides, you're always helping me out of work. Oni-san? Mm, yes? Will you cook me food again? H hey, Dai! Don't ask him that. But Mommy's always working so hard for me. And if she tries to cook on top of that, she'll get sick from being so exhausted. Oh. I'm... I'm fine. If it's for you, I can do anything, honey. Um, Senpai, if it's okay with you, I can come cook for you too. I Ishikari? What? No. What will you do if you get sick? M but... If you don't let me do this, I'll tell everyone at work you try to put bananas in curry. What? Oh, and I'll tell everyone you talk in a cute baby voice to Daimairu. You Stop it! I'm not cute! You're so cute, you're gonna melt your Ice Queen image! I'm not cute! Yes, you are! No, I'm not! And so I started cooking for them. Daimaru was so worried about Izal senpai I had to help. I would go to make dinner and help with other chores about half of the week, and sometimes on weekends. Three months later... Ishikari, can you come here? Oh, yes, uh, senpai, is this about the meeting this afternoon? No, it's not about work. Huh? But she doesn't talk about her private life at work. Yesterday, Dai asked me why I don't praise or compliment you. What? So, I have never praised anyone at work, but Dai has a point. Why do I praise him, but not you? It seems so weird. But thank you. But just a thought is enough. What? Y you are a good boy, Ishigari. Senpai! Ishikari, or is it better to call you Akira? You really are a good cook, and you play with Dai. Um, what is this? You always work so hard at work, too. And you're not afraid of me and are nice to me. And because you're such a great guy, I was able to tell you about Dai and I's past. I really, really want to say thank you. Oh, oh my gosh. Thank you, too. Senpai! Male employee? I'm sorry, I was just passing by. Um, so this was, um... B please, don't tell anyone about this! I'll keep quiet, but I think she is going to tell everyone. Oh no! Soon, everyone knew about the beautiful lone wolf patting my head. And she actually told everyone she has a son named Daimaru when she tried to explain the whole situation. And just as Senpai feared, the truth changed the way everyone saw Senpai. But everyone felt less scared of her, so it was a positive change. Also, a rumor started that Senpai and I were dating. 75 days later, the rumor was still going strong. Akita, I'm sorry that you went through all of the trouble because of me. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. I just can't believe everyone found out about everything. It'll be okay. How? Only Dai and I know about your cute side. I'm... I'm not cute! Jeez! Mommy, the doorbell's ringing. Really? Who is it? Kazuo? What? Her ex-husband? It's been a while, Toka! You... So, this is the person Izo senpai was married to. Oh, it's Daimaru! I'm not going to let you see him! Why are you here? You don't even know how hard it was after you left. I'm sorry, that was my bed. 
But when I left, I realized something. You two are the only people that matter to me. What are you talking about? I know you're just here because you're out of money. Well, well, to be honest, I'm here about that too. Just leave. I never want to see your face again. Senpai, don't say that. Huh? Huh? Uh, who are you? Don't let your emotions get the best of you. Stay cool. Akira? A Akira? First, you're dead. What? You have the responsibility to pay them, yes? Also, the unpaid child support up to now and for the future. But what? You haven't paid it, yes? Also. Just wait a second! I don't have that kind of money! Then you have to work to pay it off. No matter how long it takes. The Doka, who is this guy? Is he a lawyer or something? No, Akira is. My new dad. What? I have a new dad, so we don't need the old, useless, messy dad anymore. Leave. That's... That's right. I'm not alone anymore. Akira and I are in love. S senpai No, that's not possible. Well, I'm fine. I'm never coming back. Oh, no. He's gonna run away again. <clears throat> don't try to run away now. Let's sit down and talk about compensation. Ah, scary! One month later... Thank you so much, Akira. I think I can finally set things right with that jerk. <laughs> That's good to hear. By the way, you said there was something else you wanted to talk about? Oh, r right. About that. Um, should I be the one to say it? Wait. Wait a second. I decided that I would be the one to say it. Uh, okay. S so um... Dai really likes you, and I need you as much as Dai does. So, um, Dai wants a brother or sister, and I was wondering if you could help me out with that. Senpai, Toka, you're so cute. I'm... I'm not cute! No, you're adorable. So much so that I want to kiss you right now. I... I didn't know you were so forward. Only towards you, Tolka. And time went on. Dad, I cut the tomatoes. Good job, Daimaru. Can you put them on a plate for me? <laughs> you just have to wait a little bit longer. Daddy and I are making us a delicious curry. Toka, I can only have baby food. Oh, yeah. Can she have some if we put bananas in it? No! Uh, helping you out right now. Don't act like that. Come on. If you stop being stubborn, you can relax in a nice and warm room. What's happening here? Someone causing trouble? <coughs> I was taking a shortcut through a dim underpass when I heard their voices. <coughs> Looking at this, I have no choice but to help. This was the first time I met my future wife. I think there's something wrong with you, forcing a woman that clearly isn't interested. Huh? You're trying to be some kind of hero? Erica bastard! I'm just an ordinary office worker passing by. Oh, he stinks of alcohol. Is he drunk? You should drink some water, mister. Here, I haven't opened this bottle yet. <laughs> You're pretty quick on the uptake. Fine, you can have her. And he walked away, leaving me alone with the apologetic woman. Is she too scared to speak? It's a makeshift cardboard shelter lying nearby. But that man said, her exhausted looking face, they all pointed to one conclusion. Are you homeless? Mm. She looks younger than me. I wonder what happened. Y you want to talk about it with the police? They might be able to do something if you explain your situation. Mm. She doesn't want to. She looks so frantic. There has to be a reason for it. But my conscience won't let me leave her here. You want to come to my place? I could give you a hot shower, food, and a bed for today, at least. Oh, I won't do anything. I just want to do a good deed. Will you feel better if I give you my name card? My name, Shinya Asagaya, was written on the name card, showing that I was a mediocre office worker with no special position to speak of. The woman stared at it for a while before nodding deeply. 
Hmm, her clothes aren't that dirty, so she can't have been homeless for very long. What exactly is she caught up in? She's soaking in the bathtub now. She seemed genuinely sorry, but lit up when she saw me pour the bath powder in. <laughs> that was cute. It's not just her expression. She has a really cute face to begin with. Mm. You could have soaked a little longer. Do you feel refreshed? Mm -hmm. Seeing her just out of the bath, all cuteness combined with a womanly appeal, she was beautiful. Even though she was only wearing one of my sweaters, it was amazing how good she made it look. We're uh, having instant curry for dinner, I is that okay? There's also some rice porridge to settle your stomach. She pointed at the box, probably saying that she was okay with the curry. And then she started gesturing. Oh, uh, you want a uh, pen and paper? Mm -hmm. Talk on paper. Okay. Ah, looks like the curry's done. Can I dish it up first? When I returned to the table with the curry... <laughs> Let's tuck in! She soon gave up on eating slowly and wolfed it down, emptying her plate in a blink. It feels good to watch someone with such a good appetite. When we finished dinner, she flipped the page on the notepad I passed her before. She had written something while I was preparing the curry. Thank you for everything you've done. I'll definitely repay you someday. I see. Don't worry about it. I said before that I just want to do a good deed. I'll pay you back for your bottle of water, too. <laughs> that was actually an empty bottle. That guy was drunk, so he doesn't look like he noticed. <sighs> she looked stunned for a while, and then... <laughs> With just that, my heart skipped a beat. Say, what's your name? Tiho Yotsuya. I'm 21 years old. Oh, how young. I'm 25. Could it be you can't talk? When I realized it, I was already like this. So, you could talk before? Yes. Was that before you became homeless? Yes. Hmm, what could have been bad enough for her to lose her voice? What about government assistance? I see. Then, you want to stay with me? <gasps> Is that okay? It's an extension of hospitality. At least stay till it warms up outside. Thank you so much. It's been so cold lately. You're a lifesaver. And so, we decided to live together. Yotsuya wanted to find a job, but she didn't have any ID on her. That, and the fact that she couldn't talk, made job hunting that much harder. Yotsuya, I'm home! I talked with my writer friend. It seems like he's looking for someone to transcribe audio to text. The starting salary isn't great though. What do you think? You can work from home too. I can do it. I know how to use the computer. <laughs> then it's decided. Yotsuya started the job. My friend told me that she typed really fast, with a high level of accuracy. Her pay steadily increased without issue. After about a month, he started giving her original writing jobs. She passed me almost all the money she made, but I made sure to leave her some pocket money of her own. He ordered that dress by mail? Yep, it was only 700 yen. It doesn't look cheap when Yotia wears it though. <coughs> Aw, she's adorable when she's happy. She's been wearing my clothes till now after all. Yotia spun round and round in front of the mirror. <laughs> Too cute. Do it more. However, she slipped on the floor. Ah! Watch out! Oh, you all... Oh, she, she's too close. I have to hurry and move away. Y Yotsuya. Ah! Hmm? Huh? What? I'm... What am I doing right now? I, I'm sorry. It's... Okay. Huh? You talked? Huh? Oh, I, I, I did. I can talk again. This is amazing. I can talk. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, is this what they call a uh, shock therapy? I was surprised too. Uh, sorry about what happened. Uh, please uh, forget about it. What if I don't? Huh? I don't want to forget it. I mean. I was taken aback at first, but 
I feel really happy about it now. Uh, does that mean... Um... Hmm? On paper? I like you. Forgive me for being too embarrassed to say it out loud. I really, really like you. Yotsuya, that kiss was actually my true feelings. So this means we both like each other, right? I guess so. Uh, hooray! <laughs> hooray for me, too! That night, we fell asleep in each other's arms. I had never been this happy before. <sighs> I had a really good dream. Hmm, Yotsuya? It's still dark outside. She's awake already? Yotsuya! Yotsuya! I searched the bathroom and the veranda, but she was nowhere to be found. I wondered whether she had gone to the convenience store. Just then, I saw the note she left me. Oh, there's a note. What's it say? Thank you so much for the happy memories. But after thinking all night, I've decided that this is the right thing to do. Thank you for offering to help when you didn't even know my name. Please forget about me. <laughs> what is this? On this day, I lost the person I loved. Since then, seven years have passed. I'm now 32 years old. I was surrounded by people getting married, but I didn't even have a girlfriend. I had some encounters during these seven years, but the way she nodded her head, her neat handwriting, how she twirled in front of that mirror, I couldn't forget any of it. I moved apartments, hoping to get rid of these stubborn feelings, but nothing worked. And so, one day, I was called in by my boss. A, a blind date? That's right. She's a girl working in the same company as an acquaintance. She's someone sincere and kind. So, I thought I would introduce you. I'm sorry. I don't intend to get married. I know that. But could you at least meet her once? One does not simply refuse a client. Do me a favor. Uh, I understand. If it's just a blind date, she probably won't like me anyways. Thank you! Oh! Would you like me to send you her picture? No thank you. It's only a blind date after all. This is the room, I guess. Looks like it's just her and me. It does make it easier to reject the date. Excuse me. I've been waiting for you. That smile that never left my mind, and that voice that made me so happy when I finally heard it. No, it can't be. Are you surprised? Y yeah. I'm. I'm glad you're doing well. Thank you. Please hear me out. At that time. It turns out that Yotsuya was treated very badly by her parents. That's why she ran away from home without any money. She avoided all police and government aid because she thought being homeless would make her harder to find. But after consulting with the city hall staff, they said that they could protect me without my family finding out. With the help of the police and my lawyer, I was able to sever ties with my family. Now I'm a writer at a publishing company. Oh, I see. He really worked hard. I'm happy for you. Does that have anything to do with why you left? Yes. When I thought about my parents finding me, I got so afraid. I see. But I'm different from back then. I did my best and came this far. All because I want to be by your side. Yotsuya. I saw you in the picture of the drinking party my boss attended. So I asked him to introduce us and... That's why we're here now. She had to search for me because I moved. Can we be together again? Uh, of course! I've wanted to see you all this time. I've wanted to hold you in my arms again all this time. Oh, this feels like a dream. Me too. I've always wanted to tell you that I love you. Because I couldn't say it out loud back then. <sighs> Since we're here, why don't we have the blind date now? Okay. Um, uh, what are your hobbies? <laughs> mm, maybe meddling in things that aren't my business? <laughs> I know. Do you have any special skills, Yotsuya? I do touch typing. I'm super fast! Yeah, <laughs> I know. 
but there are still many things we don't know about each other. You don't have to talk about the things you don't want to. Just say what you can out loud. Especially your love for me, of course. From now on, for many years to come. Um... Yes? You shouldn't judge books by their covers, but the girl was poor. But to be so poor that she'd ask... Are these flowers edible? What did you say? I'm Kakuru Chiba, 28 years old. I used to work a desk job, but now I'm working at Flower Song, a flower shop. That's because my dad inherited the shop from my grandparents who managed the business. Excuse me? May I help you? <laughs> Never mind. Another customer scared off. Remember, honey, all about smile. The smile. But I did smile. Seems like the harder you try to smile, the fiercer you look. Dad often scares away new customers because he always looks so stern. I'm clueless about flowers, so I'm learning as I go. This story really picks up starting on one rainy day. Kakadu, can you take this box of flowers and put it outside? This one? What about the flowers we're tossing? We can let the neighborhood pick whatever they want. Thanks for doing this. No problem. Why give them out for free when we could sell them at a discount? They really have no business sense sometimes. Hmm? In front of the store, there was a girl in a school uniform crouching under the awning. <sighs> she must be in junior. No, high school, probably. Ah, we've made eye contact. Staying out of the rain? It's cold out here. So do you want to come inside? Or maybe I can lend you an umbrella? Hmm. Oh, she's really staring. Maybe she likes flowers? You want some? We're giving them out. Shh. Huh? Are they edible? Huh? I've heard these are flowers you can eat. Uh, we don't have any of those. I'm not sure if you can eat these. Oh, okay. Uh. What's going on, Gagaroom? Uh. Huh? She was just about to eat some random flowers, so maybe she's hungry? Mm. Miss, have dinner with us before you go home. Are you sure? Thank you so much! She must have been really hungry by how brightly her eyes lit up at the thought of dinner. Thank you for the food! Mm, it's so good! I'm so happy you're enjoying the food so much! And you are? Sorry, I should have introduced myself sooner. I'm Miki Narvita. I'm 17 years old. We'll call you Miki-chan then. There's plenty of food, so eat up! Thank you very much! I was so hungry I couldn't stand! You went that long without food? Yep, I had a job that provided meals, but it suddenly went under. So I skipped lunch to save money. How are you even smiling right now? Then you can work here. What? That's right, we're short-handed, so it's hard running the store. That's the first I've heard of this. Uh, are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> that settles it then. Oh, that's right. Mom and Dad are really big on helping others. And so, Miki-chan started working in the shop the very next day. Miki is apparently the eldest daughter out of eight siblings. It costs a lot to take care of that many children, so Miki worked very earnestly to help her parents. Welcome! Oh, are you the new hire? Yes, I am. Let me know if I can help you. The store's reputation improved immediately after she started working here. Furthermore, Miki has a really good eye for flower selection and arrangement. Kakadu, Kakadu, we're going viral on social media. Wow, that's amazing! This bouquet arrangement is so modern and cute. I happened to pass by this flower store the other day and saw the most beautiful flowers. I just had to buy them. We just started a Songstagram account on her advice. And we've already gotten a lot of followers and likes. She's completely become the face of the store. Thanks to Miki-chan, our sales have increased. Yeah. Is something wrong? Miki-chan seems thinner every time I see her. I hope she's eating properly. Come to think of it, Mom's right. Has she been eating less so her siblings can eat more? I worry about that girl. Yeah. Days after that conversation, Dad came in with a shocking announcement. 
I've rented a nearby place, so we can use it as a second storefront. What? Dad, do you even know what you're saying? We're not doing well enough to expand the flower shop. We'll be selling box lunches there, not flowers. Wow, that sounds great! But box lunches? That's so different. Can you really pull it off? Oh my, have you forgotten, Kakadu? I used to be a chef, you know. Oh, right. Until I was born, Mom apparently used to work for a famous restaurant. I'm also told that restaurant is also where Mom and Dad first met. Miki-chan, there'd be two very different jobs. But could you help me out over there too? Of course! I'll do everything I can to help out! I'm glad to hear it! Mom, Dad, are you... The box lunches were a complete success. There were so many made that morning, but they all sold out even before closing time. And then, right before the store closed, Mom cooked up a little extra something. Miki-chan, here are today's leftovers. Wow, can I really take this? Thank you so, so much for everything! <laughs> I knew it! It's not much, but I hope it'll fill her up. I didn't think you were this generous, Mom. What could you be referring to? Well, it's not every day you find a sweet girl like her, you know. I'd love a girl like her for a daughter-in-law. Sure. <laughs> hmm. Wait, when you say daughter-in-law? You've got to be kidding me! I mean, sure, I also think Miki-chan's great and everything, but... No way! She's not even 18 yet! So that's already hands-off! But, being the simple guy that I am, my eyes became drawn to her. One day... Would I be able to have more shifts? That'd be a big help. But what about school? I've quit school. Huh? I can help around the store a lot now, so please give me lots of work! I later heard from Mom that Miki-chan chose to drop out to help cover her siblings' tuition costs. She's probably worried sick, but she's smiling as usual. I want to do something for her too! Miki-chan, do you qualify to graduate? No, oh, my grades aren't nearly good enough. Then I'll teach you. I used to work as a tutor, so I'm pretty good at teaching. It'll be really good for your future too. So you want to give it a go? Kakadu. Yes, please! And thank you! I do want to study and learn! I'll work really hard! And thus started our study sessions. Let's work on math today. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. Miki-chan only wears her glasses when she's studying. With her glasses on and her hair tucked behind her ear, she's so pretty. And she has a great figure, too! She used to be so thin, but her form has really filled out. Kakadu? S sorry! Shoot, I was totally staring at her. We'll try solving this problem. Miki-chan's birthday is next month, and she'll turn 18. In other words, a legal adult. It'll be okay to tell her how I feel, right? But it's an 11-year age gap. Oh, there's no way she'll be into me. Kuru. Kakadu. Whoa, you startled me! Is something on your mind? Just thinking about how you've really grown up. <laughs> What? Idiot! You can't just say something like that to her face! Could you check? What? I finished the problem! Oh, you mean your answer? Duh! Oh, let me have a look. He was really surprised. Without a doubt, I was into Miki-chan. I wanted to help her and to see her smile. I wanted to support her. But how do I tell her how I feel when I'm 11 years older than her? Her birthday passed and I still hadn't decided on telling her or not. I guess she has the day off. Uh, of course it'd be the day we get an order for a bouquet. Miki-chan has a great sense of arrangement, so I'd love to help her. Well, it worked out somehow. Mom took the order, so according to her, the customer will come tonight to pick it up. Anytime now. Good evening, Kakadu. Miki-chan, don't you have off today? I've come to pick up my bouquet. Oh, is it a present for yourself? Don't worry about paying then. It's not the flowers I want. It's how you feel. My feelings? In the language of flowers, roses represent eternal love. White carnations mean pure love. Tulips convey consideration. And nine tulips mean... Please be with me forever. What? Kakadu, I'm in love with you. Will you be with me?
For real? Oh, jeez. Uh, I knew it. I'm sorry. I work in a flower shop and don't know the language of flowers. I should be ashamed. And here you've confessed to me while I've been dragging my feet. Now I've got to save face somehow. D do you mean? If it's all right, will you go out with me? I love you too. Yes. Yes. It's about time to close up the shop. <laughs> I think so too. Later, Miki qualified for graduation. Now she's working even harder to save up for college. Your mom says it's fine if we get married before I go to college. Miki, you're still a teenager. It doesn't feel right marrying you so soon. So you're saying you'll marry her as soon as she's 20, right? I'm looking forward to seeing my grandchildren. Mom, Dad! Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. I'll get ready to be your bride, my darling. <sighs> oh boy. Is she your type? Tell me, what kind of girls are you into? Um, there's a reason why I'm flustered. I'm so confused. Uh, but please get off me! Today went well. I think the order's gonna come sooner than expected. It was cold, but I think our visit was worth it. Totally. I'm Takadu. I'm 25 and I work for a company that sells all kinds of goods and items. I usually take care of collaboration sales and work with other companies. I just went to another client meeting today with my boss, Mima Miyoshi. Mima was 28 years old and is considered the next section chief. I have a lot to learn from her and I'm grateful for the opportunity to work with her. Huh? Takadu? Aina! I turned toward the voice to see Aina, a childhood friend of mine. She's two years younger than me and is like a little sister to me. What a coincidence! Are you visiting some clients? Yeah, I'm on my way back to the office. With her charming looks, I've always had people envy me for being close friends. I'm glad that we're still close to each other at this age. Who's this? This is Aina. We've known each other since we were kids. Since kids? Aina, this is my boss, Mima. I've heard all about you from Takeru. He tells me all the amazing things you've done for him. Oh, hold on, Aina! What? Don't look so embarrassed. Too close! That's cool. <laughs> huh? She seems a bit off. We said goodbye and Aina left. Mima was staring at Aina as she walked away. Uh, Mima, is everything okay? Huh? Oh, um... Sh she's cute. Isn't she? She's my childhood friend. Childhood friend? Yeah, we're close like siblings. Oh, you guys are childhood friends. But it's nice having a sibling-like friend. Both of us grew up as an only child, so we have a lot in common. Totally, I get it. She seems to be in a good mood. I wonder why, but... I guess it doesn't matter, because it's adorable. Mima sometimes smiles like this, despite her calm behavior at work. This always took me off guard, but I was comforted by her smile all the time. One day, we received a new business offer. It was about a collaboration with a popular children's character. Mima and I were about to meet our client. Wait, isn't this... Thank you for taking the time to come today. Aina! <laughs> Did I surprise you? I was familiar with the office, but I didn't think Aina was going to be our client. Oh, this is our first time working together, so it feels a bit strange, doesn't it? Yeah. Is there anything wrong? Oh, nothing. Excuse me. I thought I heard something inappropriate, but I must have misheard. Did I say something inappropriate? Aina heard about the deal with my company and came forward to be the person in charge herself. The fact that Ina was put in charge of the case, even though she has only been with the company for a short period, indicates that she must be great at her work. Oh, I must go get drinks. We've got green tea, black tea, and coffee. What would you like, Ina? I'll take a black tea. Will tap water be fine with you, Takadu? Don't be so bitter. <laughs> I'm kidding. Coffee, right? That'd be great. All right. I'll be back with your drinks. Working with Ina seems fun. I'm looking forward to it. You seem very happy. Yeah, I mean, I'll behave professionally. Please, let me know if my behavior gets too friendly for work. All right. I'm the one who needs to act professional. Huh? Did you say something? Sorry for keeping you guys waiting. 
Oh, thanks. I mean, thank you for the drinks. <laughs> I also brought some cookies, so please enjoy them. Business with Ina went pretty well. It must be your work skills, but I also am thankful for Mima's expertise in business meeting. One day, I encountered Ina on my way home from work. Hey, Takadu. Hey, Ina. You working late today? <laughs> I'm aiming for a raise. I'm impressed with your boss's work skills. She keeps coming up with all these ideas. On top of that, she's gorgeous. Right? She's one of the most highly ranked employees at the company. Is she single? I'm surprised. I think she wants to focus on her career. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. What are you smiling for? Tell me, what is it? I might be wrong, though. I'll keep it to myself for now. See you later. Bye. I'm so lucky to be working with my childhood friend and my boss who is great at her work. The collab deal with Ina's company was a big hit. My department became busier and busier, but I felt productive every day. One day, a business trip was scheduled for a meeting with a distant company. Our client is demanding for a pop-up store, so we must look for potential venues. This is your first business trip, so if you find yourself having any troubles, let me know. Thank you! Uh, can I ask who else is coming? I am. And? Who else? It's going to be just the two of us. What? Do you mind it? Uh, no, I don't mind at all. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. I've never been so excited to go on a business trip. Whoa, why is my heart beating so fast? Her smile is so cute. And so the day of the business trip came. We were unable to get seat tickets next to each other, so I was seated far away from Mima on the bullet train. I'm more comfortable that way, but I also feel like I was let down because I was up late at night thinking about the conversations we'd have together. This meal is delicious! I wonder how Mima's doing. I guess she's enjoying her meal too. She looks cute when she's eating. Oh crap! We made eye contact! I turned around quickly, but soon realized that if we made eye contact, Mima must have been looking at me too. Our meeting at the business trip went well. I'm so excited for the pop-up store to open. Seeing the people's reaction to the advertisement, hmm, we might have to set up a numbered ticket system. I bet it's gonna blow up. I'm so glad I was able to be a part of this. We still have to make good results. Don't get excited too soon. <laughs> You're right. It was already evening when we finished work. We headed for the hotel arranged by our company. Oh, it's a traditional ryokan instead of a business hotel. I told them I wanted a place with a big bath, and they got us a place with a hot spring. Oh, how generous of them. It's because we contribute to their profit. My room was right next to Mima's. It was a single room, so it was not that spacious, but it had enough space for me to relax. We each agreed to spend time on our own individually until tomorrow's checkout time. I had my room service meal and then enjoyed the hot spring. Ah, oh, that was a great bath. Wonder how Mima's doing. Huh? Did I hear a knock at the door? Mima! She's wearing a yukata! I mean, I guess it's not that surprising. Did you need something? I was just wondering if you wanted to drink beer with me. I've got some snacks as well. That sounds nice. It's too early to go to bed anyways. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! Thank you for your work today. You too. <sighs> this is my first time drinking alone with her. I must behave. I think we'll be finished by afternoon tomorrow. I'm glad everything's going smoothly. We've got time until the bull train leaves, so do you want to go sightseeing? Sure. I want to buy some souvenirs for the office. I totally forgot! <laughs> the manager won't forgive you. Are you going to buy something for your childhood friend? Yeah. I told her about the business trip, so I think I'll get her something. I mean, she demanded me to buy her a souvenir. It's this snack that's only sold in the city. She knows the trend. Takadu, tell me, are you into cute girls like her? Huh? Well, I think she's cute, but I don't know if she's my type. Then what's your type? I don't know. Why is she asking these questions all of a sudden? I think maybe someone who's older? Really? I think I'm into mature, beautiful women rather than cute girls. I like it when they smile. Hold on. Am I talking about Mima? I get it. I have feelings for... 
I see. I'm kind of embarrassed. <laughs> I guess it's someone who I fall in love with after all. I'm a simple man, so I might just like someone back if they love me. Not that I've ever had any experience. Then, what if... What if I say that I liked you? Would you like me back? What? She's so close! I've been worried ever since I met your childhood friend. I don't want you to be taken by anyone else. Are you drunk? Don't tell me you're just playing with me. Do you think I would do that? I... I don't. I knew she meant it without having to confirm it. Her feverish eyes were telling me how she felt about me. Her shoulders were shaking a little. A sign of this courage. My answer is... It wouldn't matter if you say it or not. I love you! <gasps> I never thought someone beautiful as you would ever look at me. And I feel like I'm living in a dream. I may lack in confidence, but will you like me back? I'm the one who's insecure. I was scared this entire time. Please, be with me. Of course. You better stay with me until the bullet train leaves tomorrow. I was a bit sad when you said individually. See? That's what I like about you. Really? Did your heart skip a beat? <laughs> it's beating fast. We enjoyed our first date after work and completely forgot to buy souvenirs for the office. But somehow my co-workers were smiling and didn't blame us. This company is generous. Ina seemed to not care about the souvenir at all and wanted to hear all about my business trip with Mima. She must have known about my feelings this entire time. And then, three years later... Oh, precious! He's so cute and handsome, unlike Takaru. Hey! I heard you're back at the office. Isn't it hard? Takaru's been supportive, so I'm doing okay for now. Aina's getting married next month. Her fiancé is a guy she's been dating since college. Mima said she wouldn't have been worried if Aina had told her she had a boyfriend. She looked cute with her pouty face. I'm home. Welcome home, Ryuhei. What? Hikari? Why are you here? <laughs> I just moved back in next door. My name is Ryuhei Yagi, 24 years old. I'm a businessman working for a company. Hikari and I are childhood friends, and I've known her since I can remember. However, she moved away for college, and we started growing apart since then. What? You moved back? Yesterday! Did you not see the huge car parked out front this morning? I don't remember because I was running late. You were never a morning person. The house next door was always deserted because Hikari's parents were almost always abroad. So it was nice to have her move back. I got a new job over here, so I decided to move back home. I didn't think you'd still be here, though. Shut up! I'm saving to move out! Hmm, saving up, huh? What is it? You always spend money so quickly, though. I wonder when you're ever going to save up. Uh, oh, yeah. Have you already eaten yet? No, I haven't, but... You want to have dinner together, then? I got Silva noodles to celebrate my move. It won't be as yummy eating it alone, so... Okay. Sounds good. I'm going to go change, so you could wait over at the house. Okay. Mmm, that was good. Oh, yeah. I found something interesting when I was packing to move. Something interesting? Wait here, I'm gonna go get it. Ta-da! The wish granting ticket! Oh my god. Are those the ones I gave you in elementary school? I can't believe you still have them! Yeah, I've been saving them. They're still valid, right? What, are you planning to use them? I mean, it would be a waste not to use them now, wouldn't it? What are you planning to use them for? Hmm, let's see. I haven't cleaned my bedroom yet, so could you help me? I guess I don't really have a choice. Yay! I'll leave the heavy stuff to you. Yeah, yeah. Hikari had always been such a sweetheart and fun to take care of. We went everywhere together and always played together. Yeah! I'm number one! Ryu-chan, wait for me! You're too slow, Hikari! Even if you say that... Oh! The swing is free now! Let's go play on that! W wait Ryu-chan! What is it? I can't get down! Are you kidding me? Fine, I'll help you. Hikari, you really can't do anything without me. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Wait, don't leave me. Ouch! Hikari!
Hikari! <laughs> you always need looking after, don't you? Come on! Get on my back! <laughs> Thanks for you, John! You really can't live without me, huh? Hikari has her birthday before me. But as you can see, she was like a little sister to me. Even at this age, you really haven't changed at all. Yeah, I can always count on my childhood friend. Yeah, yeah, you help as well. Were you even able to manage when you moved away by yourself? I wasn't okay at all, which is why I moved back. I also changed jobs so I could see you again. Wait, what? Really? Just kidding. You! <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that. We started dropping into each other's houses like we used to as teenagers. I would go over to her place or she would come over to mine. It felt like I was a student again. One weekend, Hikari asked me to come over. Hey, what's up? Why did you ask me to come? This. Huh? The wish-granting ticket? Take care of me with this. Huh? I think the fatigue of moving and switching jobs has just hit me. I'm feeling kind of sick at the moment. Okay, got it. I'd take care of you even without that ticket, you know? Ryuhei, you're the type of person who takes on tasks on your own, right? What is it suddenly? <laughs> no, I just thought it's just like you to do something like this. Like what? Not telling you. <sighs> if you're feeling sick, just go to bed. Yeah, okay. Hey, could you hold my hand until I fall asleep? Yeah, yeah. If it's something like that, I'll do it any time. Thanks. For you, hey, your hands are so big. Not really. Huh? Were her hands always this small? Hmm. I'm getting sleepy now that you're holding my hand. You could just fall asleep like this. Okay. Good night, Ryuhei. Okay. She's finally asleep. But was she always this cute? I feel like she's cuter than before. Hmm. I can't eat anymore. Why is she dreaming about eating? Is she hungry? I'll ask Mom to make some food for Hikari as well. Hmm, Ryuhei. Hikari? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? You're so freaking cute. You know, I take care of you even without those tickets. So you can depend on me all you want. Why don't you ask me to help more often? Doesn't this distance between us make you feel lonely? <laughs> Ryuhei, that's not a food. Oh, you carefree bastard. It was almost evening when Hikari finally woke up. Ah, I slept so well. Nice, that's great. Oh, Ryuhei, you're still holding my hand. I couldn't get out of your grip because you're so strong. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Don't worry, I don't mind. But hey, you must be sweating. You should go take a bath. Yeah, I think I'll do that. But actually, I don't have the strength to take a bath, so do you think you could wipe me down? What? I want you to clean every part of my body. Every part? What are you saying? We're already 24 years old! Just kidding! Huh? <laughs> I'm joking, were you surprised? Ugh, you're so annoying! <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that! Hikari! <laughs> and so our daily life went on like this. The only thing that changed was that I started to be attracted to Hikari. Once I started thinking she was cute, she just started seeming cuter and cuter. I couldn't look her in the eye anymore because I would start acting like a teenager going through puberty. And when we were alone together, things got a little awkward. So I stopped going over to Hikari's house. I feel like Hikari also notices that something's wrong. What am I doing? Hmm? Who is it? Coming! Ryuhei, hey! Oh, hey! You seem to be really busy recently. Um, yeah, work is a bit... Okay, are you free this weekend? I am free, but... Okay, let's go on a date then! What do you mean, go on a date? We're always hanging out together. I don't want it to be a hangout, I want it to be a date! I want it to be a special day where we get dressed up and plan a meetup. <sighs> well, then you should go do that with someone you really like. Otherwise, it's just sad. Okay, be my boyfriend then. Huh? Then, will you go on a date with me? You really want to go on a date that bad? You're just throwing the term boyfriend around so lightly. 
I'm not saying it lightly, Ryuhei. I've liked you from a long time ago, so I was super lonely and sad since I moved away. It was a gamble to move here. A gamble? I decided that if you were still living here, I wouldn't give up on this love. Ryuhei, I like you! I love you! So, be my boyfriend! <sighs> you know, this isn't like that. What? Why didn't you rip it? That was the last ticket! Did you not want to be my boyfriend that badly? No, no, it's not that. I don't need the ticket. What? What do you mean? I like you too, so I don't need a ticket to be your boyfriend. N no way. Really? It's true. I can't handle how cute you are. So will you be my girlfriend? Of course, Ryuhei! So this is how Hikari and I changed from childhood friends to lovers. The distance between us hadn't changed, but the fuzzy feeling you get as lovers is different. Even small changes would make me so happy. One weekend, when I was basking in such happiness, what are you doing? Tess, wait a second. It's almost ready. What's almost ready? <laughs> Look, 10 wish greening tickets. You can use these and get me to do whatever you want. Hmm, okay. I think I'll use one right now. Oh, what do you wish for? I want you to kiss me. <laughs> you don't need a ticket for something like that. I love you, Ryuhei. Wow, it's that smell! Um, could you, like, please share some of that curry with me? Huh? The plate that was held out in front of me was loaded with warm rice. And that smile. That's fine, but I don't even know your name, right? My name is Shinji Machida. I'm an office worker at a food cooperation. I go to work at the same time and return home at the same time every day. You'll see unchanging, mundane, everyday life. Ugh, I feel so tired. So the week starts again from today. Good morning! Good, good morning. That's a new face. Oh, is that the person who just moved in next door? The other day, I saw that the moving company had just come into the place next door with tons of stuff. These days, we don't really go say hi to our neighbors who just moved in, so I didn't even know what sort of person had moved in. I don't really have any ties with my neighbors anyways. So as long as it's not some sort of dimwit or weirdo, it didn't really matter to me whoever the heck it was who had moved in. But if it's a beautiful person, I will be happy, of course. One day when I came home, my mother was there. Welcome home, Shiji. Jeez, I told you to contact me when you came home. Oh, is that so? My mother is a very nosy person. Well, you could say she's quite the, uh, worry ward and visits regularly to do things like cleaning and cooking. If you play dumb, I'll be taking that key back from you. If you, like, say, get a girlfriend or two, I'll give it back to you. Well, by the looks of this house, it certainly doesn't seem possible, though. Oh, you're so noisy! And anyways, having two girlfriends would just be a nuisance. All right, well, I've already gotten dinner ready, so I'll be leaving now. Make sure you eat properly, okay? Yeah, got it. I know very well that my mom is worried for me, but at this age, it's kind of embarrassing for me to say things like, thank you, even at age 27. The smell, it's curry. Well, let's get the rice served. Well, who could it be at this hour? Yes? Good evening. Is this the person who I saw this morning? Wow, it's this smell! Huh? Um, could you please share some of that curry with me? Uh, come again? My name is Ryo Komiya, the person from next door. I just got a whiff of this amazing fragrance coming from this place, and I couldn't hold back, so I took it upon myself to come here. Ah! Well, this is a weirdo. Well, since I do have quite a lot of it, I guess it's fine to give a bit out. And I can't exactly treat a beautiful girl coldly when she's literally drooling in front of me. Oh, alright, just give me a second. I'll just prepare. Thank you so very much. I'll go fetch my plates right now. Huh? Oh, she's gone. Just like a storm. Uh, I guess you could also say she's a bit like a dog. Soon enough, Kamiya-san appeared back in front of me with a plate filled with rice. Please, put it here. Uh, oh, sure! Yeah, it's the first time I've seen someone in front of me appear so delighted just holding a plate of curry. Okay, here you go! Thank you so, so much! I'll eat it up happily! 
She may be strange, but she's definitely pretty. Still a weirdo, though. When leaving home the next day, I bumped into my neighbor again. Ah, uh, Machida-san! Good morning! Thank you for the curry from yesterday. It was really, really delicious! That's good to hear. That smile is really cute. She really likes curry that much, huh? I'll share some more with you next time. Is that really fine with you? Thank you so, so much! Alright, the next time I have a day off, I'll try making curry. So, on the next day off I had, slightly anticipating that Kamiya-san would come by again, I devoted myself to making curry. Hmm, if you add the secret ingredient here... Hmm, it's a bit different compared to what my mom made. But I think the taste is kind of okay. Well, having said that, I still made way too much. Hmm, maybe this time I should be the one taking it over next door. Ah! It's Kamiya-san in her roomware. That sort of clothing suits her, too. Hello! Uh, good evening! Machida-san, this smell... Could it be... Could it be curry? Yes, I made slightly too much, so I decided I would share a bit with you. Wow, thank you so much! I'll take it gladly! Alright, well, I'll be off then. Huh? Compared to last time, she doesn't seem as delighted as before. Could it be the fact that curry isn't her absolute favorite food after all? Maybe last time she was simply very hungry and decided to come over suddenly. If that's the case, then maybe I was being a bit too forceful this time? Sometime later, my mom came over to my place again to clean up. Mom, you're here again? You must be lonely without a girlfriend, right? Even if that's the case, don't use your mother to ease your loneliness. Well, having that said, I'm making curry again, so give me a hand this time. Yeah, fine. The curry that my mom makes is a masterpiece, a work of art. It was completely different to the one I made the other day. It had me perplexed to the point where I wondered what sort of magic she had casted upon it. To make it come out tasting so delicious. Alright, just a little simmer and it'll be done. Hmm? Who could it be? Yes, wait, uh, Kamoya-san! Well, as expected, it's this smell. Uh, could you share some of it with me again, please? I'll pay you this time. <laughs> wow, it's a girl. Oh no, Shinji. If you had a girl like this, you should have let me know sooner. Wait, Mom, it's not like that. Um, Komiya-san. If it's all right with you, please come over and eat together with Shinji. I'll give you all the second helpings you want. Wait, Mom, what are you saying? So, is it all right if you fill my plate up like heaps and heaps and heaps? And Kamiya-san is just leaning forward and accepting it? Of course. Well, I'll leave you two youngsters on your own then. What? And she left whilst leaving a huge misunderstanding? Anyways, should we go eat some curry now? Yes, I'll be in your care. Let's eat. Mm, it's definitely this taste. This girl, could it be? In the past, have you been to that curry place in Jimbaocho? Yes, because I loved books, I often went to Junbocho to get hold of old books. At that time, I came across the most exquisite curry place and went to eat there three times a week. Three times a week? You liked it that much? But that place closed down like two years ago. That's why from then on, I've continued to search for that same flavor. And then, from the place next to me came the smell of the curry from my memories. And then I found myself coming over and asking you to share some with me. As I expected, it was probably my mother's restaurant. What? My mother had always run a curry restaurant in Jimbaochu. But two years ago, when my father reached retirement age, the restaurant closed at the same time. Wow! So that was the curry restaurant which I visited back then! It's amazing, amazing! The god of curry has smiled fondly upon me! Ah, is that so? So it's not curry in general, but it's my mother's curry in particular which you loved, huh? Sorry about forcing the curry I made upon you the other day. No, it's fine! It was delicious! <laughs> I'm really happy to hear you say that. When I talked about Kamiya-san to my mother, 
she came over to make curry every week, as if it became a ritual. She looked so, so happy that she made extra portions each time. Mom is a Cupid, right? Uh, she's getting all overexcited again on her own, although I already told her we're not in that sort of relationship. Rather than eating alone, food tastes better when eaten together. That's why Kamiya-san and I began eating together regularly every week. Uh, today's curry is the absolute best, too. I'm in literal heaven right now. She really seems to be enjoying the food. Speaking of which, you're still going about those hunts for first edition books, right? Yes, because it seems like the first edition I've always wanted is out. I thought that sometime around next week, I would go take a stroll to look for it. There's a bookstore with just tons of first editions in there. It's somewhere in the back alley. Did you know that? Eh? I probably have never heard about it. Thanks for letting me know. I hope you find what you're looking for. Yes. Yeah, it's fun talking to Kamiya-san. I wish we could be together more. But starting from the week after, my mother stopped coming over to my place. It seemed like she had gone over to tend to my grandparents who were living in the countryside. I can't come back for the time being, but keep doing your best. Good luck! Just from my mom's messages online, I can picture her winking face. Ah, it came again! I'll send you that recipe for the curry of memories, so be sure to win that girl's stomach over! If I managed to recreate my mom's curry successfully, would Kamiya-san come over to eat at my place again? All right, I'll try my best. From then on, for the sake of recreating the flavor of my mom's curry, I engrossed myself in curry-making practice. Every meal was curry, but I didn't have a problem with that. If Kamiya-san comes over to eat with me again, no matter how hard things get, I'll do my best. This is all for the sake of Kamiya-san's smile. Huh? Could it be that I really do like her? Huh? Machida-san? It's curry again today? Lately, I've been smelling curry every day. Could it be that he's practicing? Uh, I really wonder what sort of flavor it'll turn out to be. But I'm not being invited, so I can't just randomly turn up. I can't use the excuse of asking him to share that curry of memories with me. Uh, I really do want to eat it, though. Huh? This is coming out pretty good? This is the best I've made so far. If it's this good, then maybe Kamiya-san might enjoy it too. I'm feeling nervous, but let's try inviting her. I gathered up the courage and decided to invite Kamiya-san over to my place. How is it? Does it suit your taste? I'll be eating up now. Yes! It's absolutely delicious! Oh, to have such beautiful curry made for me next door. I'm so, so glad that I moved in here. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, Kamiya-san is fine. You can stop here with the flattery. Huh? No matter how hard I try, I can't achieve the taste that my mom created. Up till now, I think this is the best I've done. But I know that it's not that taste. I can't perfectly recreate it after all. Even though I knew that in my heart, the reason why I invited her over was simply because I wanted to eat in her company. I was attracted to her. I really like your curry, Machida-san. Thank you so much for your kindness. Your mother's curry is an absolute masterpiece. But I think your curry is even more delicious. You're going overboard on the compliments. I truly mean it. There's no way that the curry that the person I like made for me can't be delicious. What? The, the person she likes? More than curry, more than any person, I like you, Machida-san. Lately, while singing about Kamiya-san, I've been practicing my curry-making skills. I also like you, Kamiya-san. Uh, could you please be my girlfriend? Yes, with pleasure. Oh, shoot. I feel so happy that tears could burst through my eyes at any minute. Oh, and as a secret ingredient, I added love into that curry. <laughs> Did it reach you? Of course. Oh, so that's why it was so delicious. <laughs> Several years later, a certain curry restaurant became famous in Jimbaochu. There were endless queues of dinners waiting outside every single day. It appears that there was a beautiful poster girl in that restaurant, too. I was really shocked when you announced that you were quitting your old job. 
But I'm really glad that this place grew as big as it did. That's all thanks to you, Rio. Right, food prep is all ready for today. Once everything gets sold, let's call it a day, shall we? At night? Please eat me up too, okay? Well, you can feel free to do it so even now, though. Yeah! <laughs>